is a man beloved by all America. And I'll ask him to come forward at this time, Henry Aaron. Hank Aaron, of course, is a baseball great, one of the very greatest. But beyond that, he's a great person as well. The son of a ribbit bucker, Hank was one of eight children. In grade school, he worked as an ice boy, did yard work, and helped a brick mason. Hank Aaron dedicated himself to baseball at age 17 when he signed a contract with the Indianapolis Clowns. He went to Indianapolis with only a battered suitcase, two dollars, and two sandwiches. And he made good. He joined the Braves as a shortstop and became an immediate success. A big historic moment in baseball came on the day when Hank Aaron hit the historic 715th home run to break the great Babe Ruth's long-standing record. It's a great moment for me, uh, Mr. Aaron, to present this award to you, for I am a long-time baseball fan. In fact, I read the sport pages of the newspapers every day before I read the front pages because when you read the sport pages, you can stand the front page. <laughs> As an old baseball fan, therefore, I stand beside you tonight with awe and respect. You're a great American, and you truly deserve the Horatio Alger Award which it is my great privilege to present to you at this time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Peel, for those very kind words. You know, there are so many people I'd just like to thank, and I, I'm not going to start thanking everyone, but there is someone that I would love to have the opportunity to be here with me tonight. I just wish that they were here so they could share this moment with me. And that's my mother and my father. <clears throat> you know, I think back some 23 or 24 years ago before I started playing professional baseball, <clears throat> and I can remember my, remember my father who was a ribbit bucket, and I'm sure most of you probably know what a ribbit bucket is. It's one that drives ribbit in a ship. I can recall my father trying to raise eight kids, and I can remember him every morning about seven o'clock before he would leave, would drop a quarter on the dresser for my lunch, and he would go all day long without eating. So I you know, I'd just like for them to share every opportunity and every moment of this thing, you know, because I feel like I owe them so much, and yet I don't think that I will ever be able to repay them. So, you know, in talking to these young kids before this banquet, I was made mention that there's two things that I hate to hear young kids say, that is can't, because everything is possible if you just put forth an effort. I hit 755 home runs, and I know a lot of you out there saying that that was not possible, but I made that my goal. And so you gotta put forth an effort and a goal yourself. So i just like to thank the committee for this award, and I'm sure that this is gonna set my trophy case where my family and I can admire it for a long time. Thank you very much. <laughs> 